but I was fuck it. I will stay another more station. I will stay just to listen to the to the finish. Uh, and I, my, my feeling was like I, I was feeling to to raise up and and tell the people this my song. This my song. You don't know it, but that's my song. <laughs> Kinectai is a charismatic Romanian artist famous for his smash hits such as Bagamare or Datian Dragostia Mia. He started on the music scene with Giants and gathered further attention as a member of hip hop outfit Rakla. After leaving the group, Kinectai became the most in demand featured artist, using hip hop, his love for music, and the inspiration of God to guide him on his journey. <laughs> Giants was a hood project, like um, we're a bunch of guys who, who just listen a lot of rap, a lot of Notorious B.I.G., a lot of uh, East Coast underground music, right? And uh, well, we were young and we were like, man, let's, let's have our, our crew. And uh, I started this band, Giants. Me and Bulldog. Bulldog was the other one from Giants. We were too young and little, and that, that's why we, we, we was trying to, to fill up this, uh, this, this little size out of us, and we were like Giants, let's be Giants, yeah. In 1997, we, we recorded the first, the first song. Uh, we call it... Um, Observe. Love is the way I'm making you stay. Love is what I feel when I look at you. Love is the way. I pay 50 lei to that DJ from, from, from the party. And I was like, man, you, you, you're going to take the mic and you're going to say, we have a new crew. We call it, they call it Giants, Connector and Bulldog. And, uh, well, they're going to perform, they're going to perform for you as a gift, a new song. But my feet were shaking. And I, I was like, man, uh, I got to, I got to uh, stay in front of a thousand eyes. And I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I, I just ran away to buy a pair of glasses, black glasses. I put in black glasses and I couldn't see anyone. It was a great show. I'm a grown man now, a grown artist. I do a lot of great things, but in the same way, I think industry kills the artist. Uh, uh, inside you, is you gotta do industry music. First, you do it from love. Then you do it for money. And uh, I can't wait to to be on the third part. And the third part is when you when you run and when you when you make music. For, for soul, and that's all. I was happy. I think we are searching for happy, for happiness. Uh, so when I was young and start rapping and do my first songs, I was happy. That was the main thing for me. Uh, and then uh, when the numbers come, uh, I was searching for happiness again. And I maybe, uh, 
maybe at one point I just lost myself and in numbers, in ego, and um, I was searching for happiness, and I maybe maybe at one point I was thinking like I I can't find it again. But when when my when my daughter's uh, when, when my daughter's uh, come in this world with Maya, my angel, I, I just found the happiness again with her and uh, and with my wife. And I, and I was like, man, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. That's the main thing. That's the most important thing. <laughs> Ții cu glanțe pe car Să-i vezi cu stau ascunși de după gar Vara s-a dat start Până tare de prin nebopar Even if you have to do Industry music It's industry and it's music You can't do just industry So every time I I, I, I wrote a song I, I put a par, part of my soul there But I want, I want to be 100 But it's hard But it's hard. When you mainstream, it's hard to, to, to be 100% so. When you are on radio and when they play the song and you know it's yours, you're good. You're, you're cool. You're cool. And when the numbers come, you're cool. I was 17, I think, and uh, I, I wrote a song for, for a girl which I call an uh, Operatia pe suflet deschis, surgery on open uh, soul, I think, open soul, like, open heart, but it was open, uh, open soul. So uh, I, I made that song on a, on a studio, unknown studio, actually. And uh, I think someone from a uh, big radio on that time, I think it was Radio Contact, Radio Contact. It, she just took the song from that studio and, and put it on the radio. And I was in the bus, actually. I was in the bus, come back in, home. And uh, I was like, that's my song. That's my song? Oh yeah, that's my song. So uh, the song started and um, But the half of this song, or the, in, in the middle of the song, I was have to go down because I was right home. But I was, fuck it. I would stay another more station. I would stay just to listen to the, to the finish. Uh, and I, my, my feeling was like, I, I was feeling to, to raise up and, and tell the people, it's my song, this is my song. You don't know it, but that's my song. You know, it was a great day. I will never forget it, for sure. <laughs> I can't wait to release my, my album, my new album, which I call it Yosin Stefan. I am Stefan. So, so I have gonna have 100% soul, my soul on that album. She had I stab on that she look at the naked and pepper. Yet I got to the stagger, could they put them kimado chaffer? She arms a spoon with us, a stack of badish tea. Still a little soon, presses the spittings to the cheating. If I don't do it, I think I think I can lose myself as an artist. I just to, don't want to. Transform myself in a product. I was a detamer, you start the cinema, she might be Jikova, quite a My personal life, it becomes a little bit of priority for me. Uh, I was talking to my daughter a few days ago, and uh, she was like, Where are you, where are you going? So I, I gotta go to work, Daddy, to make money so we can buy 
Teri, she loves Teri, a drink for kids. <laughs> you have to buy Kinder eggs, <laughs> yes. So that's why I gotta go to work. But uh, I don't want that, Daddy. I just want you to stay with me and play with me. And I was almost crying. I was like, man, she needs me more than I need me. So I want to release this album. And uh, after that, I want to stay. I want to. I want to stay with my daughter more than I usually do. Uh, I don't know. After that, I don't. Know.